member for Corbyn. Last Saturday, I attended a rally in Melbourne in support of the Rohingya Muslim people, calling on the international community and Australia to act in bringing an end to the current persecution, attacks and killing of Rohingya by the yeah. Myanmar security forces. The rally was supported by the Islamic Council of Victoria and was attended by all the Rohingya refugees living in Melbourne and, of course, members of the broader community. Deputy Speaker, in the last two weeks, we've seen a, a catastrophe unfold in Myanmar, in the northern Rakhine state, where the Myanmar military have waged an assault on the Rohingya Muslims, with reports suggesting that an estimated 3,000 Rohingyas have already been killed. Brutal killings are taking place against killings of women and children, the burning of villages. Deputy Speaker, this is a humanitarian disaster with reports of starvation as the distribution of aid is being blocked by Myanmar security forces. Since the most recent attack outbreak of violence against the Rohingya people uh, on uh, August 25, 2017, the United Nations has estimated that over 300,000 Rohingyas have been forced to flee to Bangladesh and with at least another 20,000 detained at the borders. According to Human Rights Watch, multiple uh, Rohingya villages have been burnt and destroyed. <laughs> there are currently 1.1 million Rohingyas living in Myanmar's northern Rakhine state. They have been their deputy speaker for hundreds of years, yet the Rohingya Muslims are not formally recognised as an ethnic group in Myanmar. They are a stateless people deemed as illegal immigrants who have been denied citizenship and most government services. Australia, Deputy Speaker, is one of the four major donors of economic development aid to Myanmar. We have a historically good relationship with Aung San Suu Kyi, and as such, we have the capacity to call on her to speak out against these crimes that are being referred to by many as ethnic cleansing. I want to support, uh, Deputy Speaker, calls from the Human Rights, Australian, uh, Human Rights Australia and others by urging the Australian government to urge the Foreign Minister, the Defence Minister and Australia's Defence Forces Chief to call on Aung San Suu Kyi and the Myanmar Armed Forces and to press for an immediate end to these atrocities. Further, to press for unfettered access to Rakhine State for humanitarian agencies as well as access for independent international monitors, including the fact-finding missions established by the, Human Rights Council, the UN Human Rights Council, which is currently blocked from entry to Myanmar. Deputy Speaker, this recent large influx of Rohingyas to the refugee camps in Bangladesh has of course significant strain on the country's resources. There's no shelter, no clean water, no proper sanitation and people are starving. The conditions are squalid and cr crowded and Bangladesh is struggling to cope. Its Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, has urged Myanmar to take back some of the 370,000 refugees, stating that no words were enough to express her condemnation of Myanmar, while top UN human rights official Zaid Raad Al Hussein says this looks like textbook ethnic cleansing. I thank the honourable member for that heartfelt comment.